Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another episode of Fresh Off The Boat Show, presented to you by myself and my boys. I'm, I'm Toby Kelly Kojo, but obviously Kelly and Kojo are not here today. So just myself. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very beautiful one today. You go, I'm in a special guest, a young legend, a young king, a young god. We've got the bad boy Thames. What's going on, my G? I'm chilling, my bro. What are you saying? Bro? Ah, man, bro, I'm just chilling, man. I'm so happy to have you here today, man. It's so good to be here. You go, I'm saying, I know that you're a busy guy today, bro. Yeah. Well, you bro. get me? For people that don't know, this is 12 midnight. Yeah. You go, I'm saying, my man has been on the road all day today, bro. Yeah, definitely. You get me? Bro. But he said, listen, I'm going to do this for you, bro. And for that, salute to you, man. You get me? Appreciate it, bro. Listen, bro. You guys out there, yeah? If you're watching this or if you're listening to this, wherever you are, man, salute to you guys out there, man. You can be anywhere in the world, but you're right here with us. And for that, I'll give you guys a clap, bro. You get me? Listen, if you've not subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel, watch the videos, leave a like, leave a comment, share it, tell a friend to tell a friend, or tell an enemy to tell a friend because they got friends too, bro. You get what I'm saying? And obviously, if you're in the office, if you're at the gym, driving, don't watch us on YouTube. You can watch us when you get home. But you can also find us on your audio platforms as well. On Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, anywhere where you find us, we did there, man. You get what I'm saying? But listen, fam, before we start this shit, yeah, we want, I want us to start this in the right way. Yeah. So you tell me what tune you want us to start with. I needed to start with Loto, Bad Boy, Tim's Mixtape Madness. Yeah, Loto, yeah? Yeah, Loto, Bad Boy, Tim's Mixtape Madness. All right then, brother. We will do that right now. Yes, So sir. for people out there, bro, we are going to start this the right way, yeah? And we are going to start this with Loto, Bad Boy, Tim's Mixtape Madness. You yeah, get what I'm saying? Madness. Yeah, bro. Let's check this thing out. Go check that tune out, bro. This is Loto by Bad Boy Teams and Mixtape Madness, bro. Fam, this tune is fire, bro. Yeah, my bro. You go, I'm saying this is this tune is fire, bro. I've, I've been banging this all day so far, man. You go, I'm saying you see this song and the one that you got with Benson. Yeah, shit. That's my favorite song off your album to start with. Nice to know, you know. You go, I'm saying for people that don't know that song, yeah, that song. It's called Make Sense by Bad Boy Teams and Benson. Yeah. You go, I'm saying, of the No Bad Boy, No, no Party, party album, album, bro. Yeah. You go, I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Fam, let's talk about that album, though. Yeah. What What is the inspiration behind the album, bro? Um, You know, just real life, you know. Life is a party to me, you know. Mm. And um, making the album, I made the album with the mindset of, like, Every song being having a party theme to it, you know. I get that, I get that. Yeah, so they're like street parties, wedding parties, birthday parties, you know. Like, they're just different, different scenarios to it, you know. Every different song is like a different party setting. Right, right, right. In right, my right. own mind while I was making the record. Yeah. You know. So, so is it basically the mindset of whatever life throws to you? You, you just got to make the best out of it. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Because, definitely. You know, because some people will say, you know, life is hard, life is this, life is unfair and everything. But basically, you know, I don't want to put what's in your mouth, but from what I'm getting, it's basically, listen, whatever your situation is, fuck it. You just got to... You just got to have fun, innit? That, that, that's just what it like, is. You don't, have, you, don't have, you don't have a choice. Like, trust me, like, the more you worry, the more you keep worrying, you know? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Once you understand that things will happen at the right time, you just keep going, just keep having fun because life is one, isn't it? Like, you that only live once. You only live once. That's just what it is, bro. That's what it is. But if I will ask you here, what was your favorite track on the album, though? For me, all the songs on the album, but the song that's most personal to me, I'll say is the first track of the album. That's Igboro. Mm. I come from Igboro, where be the ghetto. I come from a place that anyone can go. I come from a place that anyone can blow, blow, blow. God, I come from the ghetto, you know. That song is just 
Just speaks about my reality, in it. Man, she be not five hundred. Be my daily budget. I go enter Okada in my white t-shirt. Oku four hundred. Marage gay bread. Maton shock yet the following day. Oh yeah. Now my lamba in your ear like every day. I dey pray for grace in my only two way. I'm gonna be today. Me agbera the day. Man, I thank God for where I did today. Now so I received the text message. See my life don't change. See the sign that kiss. Nobody would have thought I could pass that stage. Took me 12 months to get out of that place. Baby, that's what you be worried Yo! You know? <laughs> nah, bro. Fam, this is sick, boy. Listen, listen, listen. Do you write? Do you write or do you just go in and just say what's on your mind? Um, it depends on how I'm feeling. Depend on the mood, innit? Yeah, it depends on how I'm feeling. Sometimes I write. Sometimes, you know, it's just off the off the head. But a lot more times it's off the head and then I write it. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. There always has to be that writing just so it makes sense, just so it can connect to every, every crowd. Bro, I agree with you on that because you hear a lot of artists say, yo, I don't write. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you listen to your song, you be like, Bro, I really think you should be writing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because obviously, when you write, you can always go back to it. Definitely. You know, look at it, change it up, switch it up and everything. You know what I'm saying? But some people have that gift of not writing. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think it's for everyone. But but just like you said, obviously, um, depending on where you're tapping from, isn't it? True. Depending on where you're tapping from, your inspiration and that. Yeah, you know what definitely. I'm saying? Yeah. So are you the type of artist, do you hear the beat and write? Or do you write and then try and fix it in the beat? My bro, I do everything, bro. Oh Sometimes, like, I just write music even without an instrumental. And then I take it to the studio and make an instrumental on it. Sometimes I hear the beat first and I have to give the beat what it's got, like, what I've got in it. Like, I always see it as a challenge. Like, even when I don't have a beat, like, I need to be able to make music in my head. So if I can write music without a beat and also with the beats, I'll murder it, trust me. I hear that. Yeah. I hear that. Because because a lot of people, a lot of people from the stories I've heard and all, a lot of people that start writing, a lot of artists, they first start writing with, with without a beat. Yeah, true. You know, or some of them obviously um work on other people's beat and listen to it and write. You got know I me? Mean? Yes. True. So so it, it all depends on everything. But for this album and that, yeah, where did you record it? Um Mostly in Nigeria. Why is that? <laughs> because I spent most of my time while I was making the album in Nigeria. Right. Yeah, I spent some time in the UK, but I spent most of my time recording in Nigeria. Most of the songs of the project, I remember making them in Nigeria. Right, because the reason why I ask that is, yeah, some artists say, yo, I prefer to record in Nigeria because I feel like that's like my natural habitat in it. You know what I mean? Like you're in that organic field and all that. You know, you could record in London, America, whatever. Yes, but it's not the same as when you're back home, innit? It depends on where your mind is at, you know. Like, there are some songs that make abroad and still connect to Nigeria. Mm. You know, it just depends on how your mind works, innit? Um, I don't limit myself to Nigeria because there will be times where you're on the road, you're on tour, like, you don't have to wait till you're in Nigeria to make magic, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. magic is you. You just have to prophesy, innit? Like, you just go the way God. Yeah, you know? just go do it. Like I don't have to wait. I understand the originality part. Yeah, definitely. But if you got it, you got it. Like regardless of where you are. On God. Yeah. On God. On God. Listen, you got um two people on this album, which I love obviously Benson. Yeah, and one of that person is Shensia. Shensia. But it's not just two people. I also got Zlatan in Bilal. You got Zlatan. You got Lamy there, bro. Like, yeah. like, yeah, but. Where I'm going to Asian Z and everything, yeah. Okay. Were you guys in the same studio when when you did it? No, it was actually a remix. Oh, okay. To move, yeah. Um, she got a request from like my distribution company Empire. They sent her like five songs. Yeah. And then she picked. She picked that. Yes. Yeah, nah, picked. because the reason why I was asking was I thought you guys were in the same studio. I, I wanted to ask you: Is she sexy in real in, in, in real life the way she is on social? If, if she looks sexy in social, she should be sexy. She is. She, she's good in real yeah, life, yeah, in yeah, it, bro. Yeah, Fine. You know what I mean? Because that was what I was going to, bro. You get me? But listen, bro. So your distribution deal right now is with Empire. Yeah. Empire is making moves right now, bro. They are making big moves and all. Now, before you got to Empire, 
you were with um um what's the name of your the old record label that you were was i can't remember their name wait wait wait, wait. I, 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 I will find it you go i mean boom anonymous yeah what happened with that though well a lot happened miscommunications you know but it's now history isn't it but then now you moved on from there and then you got your thing shock absorbers now yeah yeah so so you're the founder and everything isn't it yeah definitely so who are your artists on the shock absorber oh my god just one artist and well he had to launch his project but yeah he's still in the works you know still grinding I making hear sure it'll be like we have the best songs to i hear put that out. yeah i hear that i, I hear just want just one artist his name is kami yeah, it's coming. It's coming for sure. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So with Empire and everything, yeah, it's just a distribution deal. Yeah, that's what you guys got. Distribution, yeah. You know what I mean? But Empire, yeah, when, when I look at what they're doing, because they were, I might be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but they were one of the first international labels that really came to Africa and just did their thing in it. Very true. You know what I'm saying? Because they go deal with, with Olamide them, the YBNR and everything. Yeah. I think they got some sort of deal with Benson as well. Yeah. And then obviously weave yourself. Yeah. So they are definitely making moves and shit, isn't it? Yeah. Bro, let's go back to the beginning. Yeah. At what age? At what age did you did you think, you know what, this is really what I want to do? In terms of music, writing and everything. Um, I've always been around the music because my dad makes music. I hear that. Yeah, my dad makes music. So when I was younger, I used to help him pick money from like his bands and stuff so I put it in my cap so nobody steals it I put it in my cap and then I wear the cap you surely didn't give him all the money though did you bro, bro I was always archive something exactly bro exactly I'm good you know, so um, from there subconsciously I started listening to the likes of Whiskey and Co so I used to go perform their songs because I knew their songs word for word yeah I used to go perform their songs at like birthday parties you know Asha as well at the time. Ooh, Asha. Yeah. 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 So, so at what age was that? Like 10, 4, 5 years old, there about? Mm, when I was like 10, 11. Yeah. And then I got to uni and then I did a freestyle video that went very viral. If cover, Olamide, that was the first time Olamide acknowledged my talent. That's what's up. That's what's up. Because the first time I heard about you was, was MJ. The okay. remix, yeah? yeah. That was the first time I got introduced to you. But I know how this thing works. It's definitely not the first music you ever done. Therefore. You probably have been writing behind yeah. the scenes in that. Yeah. And which, you know, I mean, we all are from Nigeria. So we know how the parents are. You know, they probably would say, nah, guy, don't do this, bruv. Don't go down this music route, innit? Nah, my parents were never that. Um, they didn't even know. It was after my freestyle video went viral that someone from the UK sent it to them and I'm like, oh, do you guys even know this is happening? Like, they didn't even know because I didn't even bother to disturb them for recording session money or... All those kind of things. Yeah. You, you were just doing your own thing. Just I was just doing it on my own, like, yeah. on the side and they didn't even know. So at the time they found out, they were like, okay, that's nice. Um, You have to finish school though, but we'll support you. I hear that. I yeah. hear that. So you mentioned Whiskey. Is yeah. this safe to say, is it one of your inspirations in that? You definitely in the game. Do. Whiskey, Davido, Burner Boy, they all, they all like forefront as you know. I hear that. They are one of the first people that I heard and like inspired my music. The band, you know, the more band, hits, yeah, yeah, more hits. God, Asha, yeah. you know, all those people. They inspired my music growing up. You know, Two Faced DBR, all the man them, you know. I hear that. I hear that. But but, what artists do you listen to apart from yourself? Right, apart from yourself. What artists do you listen to now, currently? Right now, I listen to a lot of um, j Huss. Yeah. The new album is sick, bro. Yeah, very sick. Um, I listen to Drake. I listen to Burner Boy. I listen to Whiskey. Um, I listen to Benson. I listen to Benson Oxlade. is sick, yeah. I listen to Oxlade. Oxlade is sick. Yeah. Um, in the UK, I like... Central Seas music. Oh, well. yeah, oh, yeah. He, he's on fire right now. He's gone. Man. Yeah. He's gone. Basically. Nice, bro. Nice, nice. But then, your dream collabo. Your dream collabo. No Whiskey, no Bonaboy, 
know that we don't. Therefore. You know what I'm saying? Keep those ones apart. Because every single person that we always ask, they always say, yo, I would like to do whiskey and everything. Okay, cool. Well, apart from them three, yeah, your dream collabo? It would be definitely Drake. And I would like to do a song with J-Hoss as well. j is sick, man. Yeah, yeah. Drake, J-Hoss. Yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Ah, Lee, like, I thought you, you were going to say, like... Olamide, I should care on all them people. Bro. I got song with you, you got Olamide, you, you got song with Olamide, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't mind I should care as well, but Dream Collabo, it should be Drake. It will be Drake, man. Yeah. Yeah, bro, you, 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 you're definitely shooting high, bro, I feel it. Bro, I'm shooting for the stars. You're shooting for the, the skies. Sky is only, the sky is only the beginning. I hear that still, bro. The, the state of Afrobeats right now, yeah, because we are looking at Afrobeats right now. Obviously, you mentioned Mo Heats, Two-Face, and all them guys. Back in the day, we, we are all going to admit there was not a lot of money in the scene at that time. Yeah. Fast forward right now. Boys are eating. Right? Where do you see Afrobeats going from here? Afrobeats is going wild. Um, the global acceptance of Afrobeats has only started like a few years ago. And now it's like major. It? So I feel like Afrobeats is really going to go wild. It's going to be a major genre very soon. If not, it's already a major genre. I think it is, bro. Yeah. I think it is with all these guys sell, selling out the stadiums and everything, bro. You know, because I was there for the Bonner Boy one and that, bro, that shit was crazy. Nice. I, yeah, I was there for his one. I couldn't make it to the Whiskey one. Did you go for the Whiskey one or the Bonner Boy one? No, I was in Canada. I was still in Canada. Oh, you were in Canada at the time. Yeah. Right. But I was in Bonner Boy's one sick. I, I couldn't go Whiskey one. Then Asha K's one was was obviously yeah, sick. I was, as well. I was at Asha K's show, bro. How was it for you though? Was, like was, looking at that, see where the guy was three years ago or two years ago, mm -hmm. and now here, it's mind blowing, bro. It's like it's like it's like a miracle. That shit is sick, bro. I feel like Asha K has not woken up from that dream yet. No, I don't think so. Yeah, like I don't think so because just just last year, two years ago, you got me. Like he was doing club um club appearances and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then, but when everybody kind of knew, oh, shit, this, this, this dude is out of here, was the Sumba Brixton. Sumba remix. Oh, yeah. Sumba, then, then Brixton last year. Oh, yeah. Because he did it, I think it was like three nights or something like that, if, if I'm not mistaken. He did it back to back. Sold it out and everything. That was when the brother was like, this guy is out of here, man. Congrats to him. You know what I'm saying? Nah, bro. Congrats to him and everything. Everyone is happy to see him. You know, do this and and his performances were sick as well. Yeah, I love the I love the painting side of the show. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. The basket side, that's that's next level shit. I was really good, man. Yeah, I was really good. You know, but then also when you look at you yourself, what you're doing in the game, you know, the likes of Rema, you know what the, what he's doing in the game and everything, bro. I think the game is is in a beautiful hands, man. Definitely. You go. Know I'm saying I think the game is in a beautiful hands because. You know, but the only, I, I, I kind of said it because I had a conversation with Bankuli. Okay. Right? My reservation is because I'm a student of the game and I saw what um, the record labels did with hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Seeing where hip hop came from, what it is, and some of the stories, some of the documentaries when you watch and, and you see some of these artists say, yo, we made a lot of money for these labels in there. And we kind of felt that they, you know, took all the money, you know? So I'm looking at it right now because I don't know if you saw the tweet from Ebro last week. No, I didn't see it. Where he was talking about that he got a call from someone in the labels and everything, talking about that the focus right now is on Afro music and Latin music, no longer on hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So that was the tweet and obviously everyone was talking about it. So I'm thinking, golly, like it's beautiful. To me, it's a beautiful thing that all these labels are recognizing the scene right now, the Afro scene. But then I just hope that the artists get the contracts right, if you get what I mean. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, get the contracts right, you know, so that they can actually make money for their label, you know, and not just the, the labels and that, if you get what I mean. Yeah, I feel. So I don't know what you feel about that. Yeah, man. I mean, if you're going into any deal at all, you must know what's in that deal. If not, I mean, this 21st century, nobody should be teaching you what to know. Absolutely. Yeah, man. So the deal has to make sense for you in the long run. 
and it has to be recoupable to the label. As long as you got that, you're good, man. But just make sure you got a lawyer too. Because so many twisted words in the contracts. I bet. Yeah. I bet. I bet. But um, let's switch over to what's happening in the culture right now. Personally, I'll start this by saying personally so that you can know where I stand by this, yeah? When it comes to this. I don't like the whole camp thing. What do you mean? You know... You, in the industry right now, like different people have different camps. Oh, uh, you get know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna mention names, in it. Yeah. You get know what I'm saying? But different people have their camps, and for the most part, it's not the artists that's out there fighting. It's the the, the people on social media, yeah. the camps and everything. You get know what I'm saying? Me, me myself, I kind of think it's a bit ridiculous, right? Mm -hmm. Because I'm looking at it from the business point of view, thinking, shit. If you look at the Latin music, you have J Balvin and Bad Bunny, like yeah. these are superstars teaming up together and doing tours and everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is it going to look like if all these artists come together and say, you know what, we're going to do a world tour? How's uh, that shit going to look like, bro? It will be mind-blowing, bro. I mean, you know, Africans... It's ego, in it? We got ego. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, shit. I can't do it myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I mean, I feel like we'll grow to understand that togetherness is important. That's the main thing, uh. You know, that's the but, main thing. I mean, everybody is egotistic and because like the genre is new and it's just growing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everyone is trying to grasp like what they can by themselves. What they can get. But right now you can see some artists touring with other artists in Nigeria. Right now, um, Victoni is on tour with Rema. Um, yes, he is, yeah. Young John is on tour with Tewa Savage. Yes, yes, yes. You know, so it's happening already, gradually. Gradually, we're getting yeah. there. People are beginning to... Realize that real there's money to be made, bro. Realize the business, the business part of it. Like, there's ego to it, but there's more of the business to it, too, so... At the end of the day, yeah, the ego is always going to be there. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Because... Well, 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 in Africa, we're kings and queens, like... That's just what it is, You know what I'm saying? You know, because listen, I, I, when it comes to the ego, I don't have a problem with it because I believe that that's what makes people great. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you got to believe in yourself, the pride in yourself, you know, the ego, as, as long as it's a healthy type of ego, right? Yeah, it makes sense. There's always going to be competition because everyone want to say I'm the best, isn't it? Yeah, everyone wants to be the best. Nobody, nobody gives, nobody gives a fuck who was the second person to go nah, to just what it is. You the second person I went to the moon, you don't know him. <laughs> He's always the first person in it. Yeah, man. I'm strong than that. Yeah. Yeah, bro. But but my own thing is we can have that healthy competition, but then at the same time work to work together yeah. for the betterment of the Definitely. scene, innit? Definitely. You get me so that everybody can eat. Yeah. You get me? You know? But then um I'm gonna ask you this question right now. If you look at a whole scene, old school, new school, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, who do you think is the goat? The goats. Yes, man, there are too many goats. Too many goats. Too many. There's two Baba. Mm. There's Fela. There's too many. There's too many goats. Whiskey, Davido, Burner Boy. They've been in this game for years. They are in the goat category. They are in the goat level. You know. Yeah. And they are younger goats. That's it, bro. <laughs> they are younger he goats and she goats. And she goes in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But bro, I'm not gonna lie. I'll put you there as well, bro. Because because forget the politics, forget everything that's out there, bro. Fam, your your music slaps. Thank you, brother. Appreciate your music slaps. It. Appreciate. If you're out there, yeah, and you've not heard the new album that came out this year, yeah, you no, go check it out. Bad boy, no party. Yeah, go check that shit out right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's everywhere right now. You get me? But listen, fam. You see, just just before we go on everything, because I know that you got activities and everything, yeah? Yep. Did you hear um, the new controversy that's going on for the last two days right now? About to. About Burner. Oh, yeah. I the think statement that, that he made and everything, yeah? Yeah. All right, cool. I'm just going to play it right now so that I can get your sense in it. All right. You got what I'm saying? Just going to play it real quick, yeah? So this is what he said. <laughs> with my crown on my head, you know? Why do you think it is? Why do you think it's harder for the people that know you best to love you the most? Because they don't know you best. You just think, you just thought they did. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that was where you made the mistake. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. When you realize that, when you start going around the world and you start seeing that, oh, there's actually motherfuckers that know me a lot better than the people that have shared the same... Experience in life. Not even experience, because half of them, you know, yeah. 90 percent of them have almost no ex no real life experiences that they can understand. Which is why you hear most of Nigerian music, or I would say African. Music, I don't even know what to say. Afro beats, as mm. people call it, mm. Mm. <laughs> it's mostly about nothing. <laughs> there. Literally nothing. There's no substance to it. Like there's like nobody's talking about anything. It's just a great time. It's an amazing time. <laughs> you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, life is not an amazing time. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No matter how nice you want your, your of a time you're having now or you had at some point mm. or you plan to have, yeah, you're still going to face life. <laughs> yeah. And if I'm lying. Exactly. So it's like for me. I feel like music should be that. Music should be the essence of the artist. You understand? The artist is 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 a person. Like uh, me speaking for myself, the artist is a person who has good days, bad days, great days, and worse days. <laughs> you know what I mean? And for me, if I give you something like this with my face on it and my name, then I should be giving you that experience yeah you know what i mean yeah bro <laughs> he said a lot yeah he said a lot he said a lot without saying but he said a lot bro what yeah you, so what do you think about that um i think i feel like maybe his representation of like what he was trying to the message he was trying to pass across oh, yeah came off as a boner boy <laughs> you understand? We all know. You understand we, what I'm saying? We all know Bonner. Yeah, Bonner, that Bonner is the type of person to make his point regardless of whether you're hot or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. But to say that Afrobeat has no substance. No substance. I don't is, think so. I feel like he's just talking about certain people. The kind of music I make. It has substance. It makes sense. Yep, yep. And yep, it's yep. not all jumpy. There are some sad moments. Yeah. So. People that make albums out of no substance are on their own. If you know Afrobeats, like I will always say, I'll say Afrobeats is a language, you know? It's not just music. Mm. It's a language. It has to make sense. It has yeah. to pass. Yeah, but it's it has, a feeling. It has, to be, it has to be used to pass a message across. Sometimes, yeah, people just sing for vibes for people to be able to dance. Yep. And sometimes people actually speak their reality, you Absolutely. know? Absolutely. So, and I'm saying that people don't have um, real life or good enough experience. I mean, it's just like speaking on behalf of other people. Mm, 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 people mm, know mm. that people, people, there are people that feel pain. Nobody has it 100%. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. There are people that have been through a whole lot uh, of like- Yeah, a lot. Traumatic experiences. Just because they don't choose to put it in their music does not make them weak or does not, does not make them unappreciated, mm. you know? Afrobeats is, is into different classes, you know. People do what they have to do. People do what they know how to do, you know. Yeah. But me, on my album, there's different phases to me. Yeah, there, bro, you say a lot of shit. You yeah. say a lot of shit. If, if people go listen to the, to the song with, with Benson, yeah. you got saying a lot there. Yeah, bro. You got what I'm saying? So I got different songs. That there, there are songs that I made when I was really sad. You can hear the mental song, you know. There are just different moods to it. And um, big shout out, Burner. But like that's my point of view, isn't it? I kind of understand what he was trying to say, but I think we all kind of disagree with him. Is the generalization yeah. of saying Afrobeats artists is a bunch of nothing? Like nah, you know, we nah. we, we, we Afrobeats, we, we Af Nef, Afrobeats is our language, boss. That, that that just what it is. Yeah, bro. You know, yeah. Some people do do the party vibes and everything, mm -hmm. but there are a whole bunch of people that have a message. No disrespect to Afrobeats, boss. Fela Kuti. Fela Kuti started Afrobeats, mm -hmm. you know? Like, <clears throat> Afrobeats is the base. Afrobeats is like our foundation. That's what it is. Bro. That's what we grew up listening to. You know, there are different types of Afrobeats. There's Fuji. Mm -hmm. There's, and those people actually make sense. Yeah. People that listen to them actually, like, they convey they the message. They know exactly what they're saying. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's basically, like... A lot of people were kind of being, you know, offended, saying, okay, why are you saying something like that on a big platform like that? 
because he was being interviewed by Zen Lowe. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know? Cool. If that's how you feel, that's how you feel. You know? But we are still trying to build this this, this culture, you know? We are still trying to build this culture and yeah. you cannot just be out there, you know, shooting it down like that, if you get what I mean. I mean, Afrobeats has fed Burner Boy for years, you know? That's just what it is. Yeah. You know? That's what it is. But, but um, like, at the end of the day, bro, listen, I know that you got to shoot. You know what I'm saying? I know you got to shoot. You got things to do and everything, bro. Yeah? But do you have any upcoming shows in the UK soon? Yeah, I'm definitely doing my headline show this year. Right. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely happening last quarter of the year. That's what's up. Yeah, definitely. That's what's up. You know? And then and then also this new album that's obviously out. Mm-hmm. No bad, bad boy, boy, no party. No party. It's everywhere right now. If you've on not your streamed DSPs. It, if you've not streamed it, you're sleeping on a bicycle. You're on a long You're on the longest thing. You know what I mean? According to the band then back in the day, bro. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You're on a long thing. So go check it out and everything, bro. And, and also go check out the new song Loto. Yeah, Loto. It's everywhere Loto. right yeah. now as well. You know what I mean? That's one of my favorite songs. So just go check that out. You know what I'm saying? And before we leave, bro, what song do you want us to close with? Hmm. I would, like you to play, song, I would like you to play um, Igbo Bad Boy Tims. That's like my reality. That's substance. That's substance <laughs> right there. The substance that Bonaboy Boy was talking about, ain't it? Yeah, that's <laughs> substance right there. All right, then, cool. You know what's going to happen? I'm, I'm going to play half of that, and then I'm going to play half of my favorite one, too. All right, all right, for sure. Yeah? For all right, sure. cool. Say, say no, and then. Let's do this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is Igoro. Ig- Igoro. Igoro. It means streets. Yeah? Streets. Okay. Igboru. Yeah, man. Nice one. Bro, those are two hits right there, man. Love, man. Those, those are two hits and everything, bro. Yes, sir. Listen, fam. Thank you so much for coming by and everything, bro. Thank you so much. Salute to you, man. Big you go know what I mean? It's a pleasure love. having you and everything, bro. Big love, big love. You know what I'm saying? Bro. Hopefully and hopefully... <laughs> We will have you back again, bro. Appreciate it, man. You know what I'm saying? And sure. all you lot are there, man. You can be anywhere in the world, but you're right here with us. Salute to you, man. Go subscribe to the channel, watch the videos, leave a like, leave a comment, share it, tell a friend to tell a friend, or tell an enemy to tell a friend. It's your boy, Toby. This is Fresh of the Boat Show. And until next time. It's Bad Boy Tim's in the and building. Tim's you know what I'm saying? Let's yeah, do this. Salute. <laughs>